Hi, I'm Christy Hale, the creator of over 30 books for children. Here are some of the ones that I've written and illustrated. The East West House, Noguchi's Childhood in Japan. Dreaming Up, A Celebration of Building. My bilingual book, Todos Iguales, Un Corrido de Lemon Grove, All Equal, A Ballad of Lemon Grove. And today, I'm going to talk to you about water land, land and water forms around the world. We're going to look inside and we're going to read the book in two ways. Picture books have two kinds of stories. They have stories from words and stories from pictures. And we'll talk about both. And then we're going to follow up with a project that you can do and you can explore your own stories and your own pictures. Christy Hale, Water Land. Land and Water Forms Around the World. A Neil Porter book, Roaring Brook Press, New York. Lake. Island. Bay. Cape, Strait, Isthmus, System of Lakes, Archipelago, Gulf, Peninsula, water forms, land forms. A lake is a body of water surrounded by land. An island is a piece of land surrounded by water. A bay is a body of water almost surrounded by land. It is usually smaller than a gulf. A cape is a piece of land that extends into the water it is usually smaller than a peninsula. A strait is a narrow body of water connecting two larger bodies of water. An isthmus is a narrow strip of land connecting two larger pieces of land. A system of lakes is a group of lakes near one another. An archipelago is a group of islands near one another. A gulf is a body of water almost surrounded by land. It is usually larger than a bay. A peninsula is a piece of land almost surrounded by water. It is usually larger than a cape. After you read the definitions, open up the map and see if you can find water and land forms all around the world. In memory of my mother, Eunice Sherman Hale, and in gratitude to my daughter, Kate Apostolu, who inspired this book. Did you know that before you ever understood letters, you were already reading? You looked at the pictures to make sense of what you were seeing. There are few words in this book, but there are many stories. Let's find some in the pictures. Notice the leaf near the girl's feet. See the girl's gesture playing with the autumn leaves as they fall from the tree. Look at the type of tree. When the page turns from lake to island, observe what happens in the same spot. Hey, I think that leaf is actually a fire. And the girl is no longer playing with leaves. She is fanning the flames to create smoke signals. The tree has become a palm tree. Let's take a look at the boy relaxing in the boat. Will he catch a fish? Notice his hat. 
see the cattails surrounding the lake. When the page turns from lake to island, look what happens in the same spot. The boy's fishing line has not caught a fish, but a bottle with a message inside. The message says, help! The boy's hat has changed from a baseball cap to a straw hat. And the marsh and lake are gone. The boat is now floating in the ocean. Let's zoom back out to see the whole scene. The girl on the island is waving and calling to the boy, trying to get his attention. She is sending out smoke signals. SOS! That is code for help! She has sent messages and bottles, also asking for help. And what about the boy in the boat? He is completely oblivious. This book is full of holes. Those holes are in the shape of water and landforms. As I was planning the book, I had to keep track of where those holes would be on each side of the two facing pages. See the dotted black lines here on both the lake and island illustrations? Look closely at the two illustrations of lake and island side by side. Do you see that anything inside the dotted black line stays the same in both images? The changing parts of the picture are outside the black dotted lines. The pages of the book alternate between blue backgrounds for water and yellow backgrounds for land. A hole on the blue water page lets you peek through to yellow land. A hole on the yellow land page lets you peek through to blue water. Let's go to the bay. Take a minute to observe the scene. Hmm, what does the baby see? We'll zoom in close on the boys playing with the beach ball. The boy in the beach chair has his hands raised to catch the ball. When we turn the page, we see that the same boy has his hands raised to protect himself from getting splashed by the windsurfing girl. And now he is on a cape with a lighthouse in the background. Let's look at the bay and cape images side by side with my black dotted line guides. Again, the things inside the lines don't change, just the things outside. What does the baby see? Is it a shark or could it be just a windsurfer? The pictures can help you understand the difference between the different water and land forms. You can see a tugboat, a barge, and lobster boats moving through a narrow passage of water between two larger bodies of water. This is the definition of a strait. Turn the page and there are land vehicles, a truck, a car, and a van moving across the narrow piece of land between two larger areas of land. This is the definition of an isthmus. What else do you see? There are lobstermen in their boats. One is pulling up a lobster trap. There is a lobster shack with colorful buoys hanging on the side, nets and traps scattered about. This scene reminds me of Rockport, Massachusetts, the lobster town where my father grew up. When my father and his brother were in high school, they had a job selling supplies to the lobstermen. On weekends, my grandfather was the captain of a ship and he gave boat tours of the area. As you look towards the top of the scene, you can spot fishermen bringing in their catch of the day. There is a lively fish market and a busy seafood restaurant. Try making up your own stories as you look at the pictures. Can you tell a campfire story that these two campers are sharing as they toast marshmallows? What are the other campers doing? And here's what I'd really like to know. What is a bear doing in a tent? That could be an interesting story. See the canoe in the lake? Turn the page and it's just one of many canoes headed toward the group of islands or archipelago. And there is all sorts of other water activities. What's happening at the Gulf? In the lower left corner, there are children digging are they looking for sand dollars? Nearby, a girl looks through a telescope. Perhaps she is watching the flamingos flying overhead. To the right, we see newly hatched baby turtles finding their way to the water for their first swim. 
Now let's turn the page. It appears those children are actually digging for treasure. We know, but they don't know, that the treasure is under the water near the sunken ship. And that girl looking through the telescope can see pirates arriving. Uh-oh, an underwater whale might just surprise that pirate ship. Look at the definitions page again. The shapes are simple ones. Now it's your turn to create your own water and landform pictures. You will need paper for water, paper for land, scissors, glue, a glue stick, or if you don't have those handy, you can easily make your own paste. I will share a paste recipe at the end of this talk. Let's get started. I have a piece of blue paper and a piece of yellow paper. I use the blue paper and beginning with my scissors on the edge of the page, I make a cut toward the middle. Then I change directions to cut out the shape of a lake. When I position my blue lake on the yellow paper, the yellow becomes the land around the lake. Let's look at the remaining blue paper from my lake cutout. When I place that against the yellow paper, I see an island. If you don't have blue and yellow construction paper, you can find other sources of paper. Many business envelopes have blue patterns inside. Open up an envelope, flatten it out, and cut the blue pattern paper for your water. Manila envelopes and folders, and even grocery bags can be used for your land. Here is an example. Once you have cut out your shapes, you can glue or paste them down. Have you visited a lake? What did you see? Have you been to an island? What do you remember? Add your own details with drawings or collage to show your stories. If you want to try some more water and landform projects, you can download activities on my website, christyhale.com. Here is that recipe I promised. Easy homemade paste. Ingredients, a half a cup of flour, water, a pinch of salt. Instructions. Stir water into the flour until you get the desired gooey consistency. If it is too thick, add a small amount of water. If it's too thin, add a bit more flour. Mix in a small amount of salt. This helps prevent mold. Store the paste in a sealed container. Have fun!